Killer, kick killer. Y'all go hell with none of y'all say yo camp shit is hard, yo. Pause. Shut up. War Room Nation, Battle Rap fans. Welcome to Operation Battle Rap, brought to you by War Room Sports. I'm your host as always, Jimmy at JW the Blueprint at me. At the round table this evening, I got my brother B Austin. What's good, homie? Yo, delicious. Marie Love. <laughs> at me. At me, like real rap. It's Right down there. You see it. Hutch Vision. What's up, Hutch? Chilling, man. Salutations to the Battle Rap Nation. Let's get it. The Battle Rap Misogynist, aka the Skip Battle Skip Bailey for Battle Rap. <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to laugh, but Marlon Dalton is over there like <laughs> Skip Battle Listen, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yo. Marlon feed your dog, man. Yo, come on now. I'm about to call the SPCA on you. What's up, Bokai? <laughs> hey, that show. Let's get it. <laughs> we, we got, got 250. <laughs> 250 from Straight Shot Battle Rap, a.k.a. Yeah. Mr. Edging it. Yo. The you, feed your dog, you feed your dog, go fan? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold up. Can I, I just need to say something real quick. Uh, I need to say rest in peace to my grandfather. Yeah. So now you're going to get serious on it. We've been clowning for like a whole half hour. Now you're exactly. trying to change the whole I had, I had to get serious joke. for a second. Oh I had a joke loaded up as soon as he yeah, said something. Then I felt bad. Yeah, dog, you like, making me feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's still Rest, in peace. Rest in peace to Grandpa 250. Yo, before we start this thing, I want to give a couple shout outs. As always, shout out to all the Battle Rap groups. Straight shot. I'm by 750. Yo, shout out to my man, Angry Fan 007. Um, chopped it up with him, trying to get him to come on the show, and y'all can say what y'all want to. I see people hating on him all the time, but I give the boy respect because I know he knows his stuff because we've had a conversation. Yo, Antonio Raddick, shout so out to you. I mean, are you videos. the Terminator? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to get my shout out. I'm trying to get my <laughs> shout outs, though, B. This is hip hop. You know, we always give shout outs. Shout out to I Battle Worldwide as well. URL, King of the Dot, everybody. Be awesome. You got the floor, good brother. You Yo, let me give my shout outs. Yo, Go, you get shout outs. Shout outs to the one legged, one titty women that watch. <laughs> really? Word. I'm going to week one titty. Yo, if y'all, if, y'all, if y'all can see the conversations we have before we go on air, though, y'all. <laughs> At any rate, man, this episode is to break down the old red and big T battle, which hey, took place. Chilaka Boo! <laughs> you are real, Mr. Chilaka Boo himself. With that being said, no, I'm a, I, I was going to start with you, Hutch, but I know um, <laughs> I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a chill for a second. 250. Word. <laughs> Word, really? Okay. Bro. Okay, it's on me. Um, First of all, um, I got it. I, I mean, to be easy, it's, I got it 2-1 over it. Um, Big T... I, I don't know what was up with that whole Cinderella shit he was doing, that bippity boppity boo, whatever the fuck, yo. It, third round when he decided to style on him, that was the only time that, that he was saying anything that was worth fucking listening to. This this shit, the battle was bullshit. I'm gonna put yo, it out there. Yo, I'm gonna put it out 13, there. Man. It's yo, bullshit. It's a bullshit battle. <laughs> I'm right, sorry. Man. It was it was a BS battle. I apologize to all the parents out there. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to go right to you. Uh, Skip Bayless, a.k.a. the battle rap misogynist who disrespects all female battle rappers. That's not um, true. It's not true? Not true at all. Okay, just the majority of them. But Yo, Yo shout um, out to Bonnie, yo. What do you think about this battle, y'all? Uh, I got this battle 3-0, 100 bullets. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I thought we, I, no, I thought we were going to uh, do the battle that actually meant something. Um, and now we, you don't gave your opinion now, so we can't do it, man. Come on, man. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't know why we hey, didn't do that one first. But anyway, all right. Well, that's this all one I have. Opinion, though. I have this battle uh, 3-0 O-Red. That's just it. Nothing yeah, that's to say about, just nothing to say about this. I, I'll leave that to Hutch because I'm, I'm Yo. Man, cool. Hutch man who um who dis who dislikes all the Chilaka booisms, um and now after this past week has thrown away all his fifty cent CDs. Um, <laughs> he bought a GU you, not shirt. He bought a GU not shirt. Yo, do I even need to ask you who you have in this battle? <sighs> <laughs> um yeah, I 
All right. <laughs> let him let him collect his thoughts. Yeah. Let, let, let me let me let me be let me let me give my back Let me get your body moving. Yeah, let me get your body moving. I get my back rub. <laughs> I get my body moving. Who you got, fam? I'm your uncle. I'm saying three o o red. Okay. But my 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 distaste for the Chalaka Boo stuff aside. <laughs> Hush it was just stuff that he was, he was, yeah, he was doing wrong, like round one. He's talking about how old Red does the same thing over and over and over again, when that's exactly what you're doing <laughs> with this Chalakabu stuff. And also, I noticed that people are amazed by how such a, of a bad aimer he is, because he's always talking about shooting stuff and knocking pictures off the wall and. <laughs> and and knocking vases off the wall, and people love it. Y'all don't, y'all don't mess with the letter fours, though? What about the letter um, he, fours? That, uh, <laughs> people standing over the body going, oh, red. Sounds just like people standing over the body going, it's going to be okay, Sean. Same thing. Uh, <laughs> you can't do the same thing and then talk about someone else doing the same thing. Respect. The bars weren't there for me. The third round was the closest, but the first half of that round... Was was not good. He spent he spent half the round talking about a story that somebody already did and did it better and freestyled at it. That's it. Already three of Okay. <laughs> got you, got you, got you. Yo, man. Mm-hmm. My opinion is two one O Red, man. Um, I think O Red right now is on a roll. Over this past year, O Red is like you know put himself amongst the elite in terms of battle rap. Uh, I am a fan of Big T, yo. But we all know that Big T usually battles like once every 18 months. He need to go still... back to that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was going to ask you. Maybe that's what it is because <laughs> it was kind of repetitive. Um, his last two outings, I really didn't mess with like that. But I thought Old Red was dope, though. Even though, like Marlon said, he hated the whole battle. I mean, that battle, it wasn't a great battle, but I thought Old Red was dope. That's just my personal opinion. B. Austin. How you see the battle? Yo, man, um, first of all, we want to let them know that only Kyrie is misogynistic, so shout out to the biddies and Susan B. Coleman, wow. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. <laughs> uh, we want you biddies to make sure your titties is all right. Um, <laughs> I thought it was a like service that, announcement from OBS. I thought, I thought that, um, the more you know. The more you're aware, you can check the links. <laughs> I felt that um, O-Red... Edged it two one. Um, I, I I really didn't think the battle was as bad as you guys think it was. I think O'Red did his did his. That thing. was Marlon. I think that um, Pivity Bobby Boop, uh, aka Chalaka Boop, aka Big T, um, aka Pew Pew, <laughs> aka. <laughs> yeah, the sound effects are hilarious. <laughs> sound effects. Um, I actually I thought I was watching. Police Academy. He got a Don DeMarco. <laughs> for that. I thought he did his thing in the th- in the uh, second round. Um, in the second? Him. Really? Yeah, I thought second he. Second round he... was thirty seconds long. Really, Craig? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, keep it short, concise, and simple. Uh, but I, I have big O. Uh, I mean, big O. Big O. Big O. Big big o. o. <laughs> Oscar Robertson, maybe. <laughs> big O. Big O. Big O. Edging out Red T. Um, <laughs> I, have, uh, I got old red edging out big T. Um, old red, I didn't appreciate that white beauty that you wore, but I think you got it. Um, that's all. I Yo, got. man, y'all, y'all brothers is crazy, man. Yo, Yo old I, red, you know what else old red did, Jimmy? I'm gonna go with one of your lines, one of my man Jimmy lines over there to to my to my left. Um, it's the sports, man. Old Red went to the sports, and he hooked me with the sports, so that, yeah, that, that helped me. We got are, we are sports junkies here. Yo, um, that's crazy, man. Yo, a couple things I just want to say real quick, because I have a question for you guys. But before I do, for those watching, I also want to know to um, check out the uh, check out the Operation Battle Rap new Facebook page. We have a Facebook page where, um, you know, we're discussing battle rap and whatnot. And the page can be found. Right War Room here. Sports Operation Battle Rap. Absolutely. WRS Operation. I'm going to put it right here so you can see it. But um, that's one thing. Second thing is, and shout out to all the fans that hit me up and asked, like, where we've been for a while, man. I'm working on something very, very special that you shall see. You're going to see us. Even beyond that, yo. Y'all um, going to get this work. 
there's been a lot of weird weird battles lately, man. But, but one thing it. I one thing I do want to say about that is this though. I think that O Red over this past year, he might be having the best year, but it could be argued some I had this debate with somebody on Twitter. They were saying Daylight has had a bigger year. Um so I'm gonna ask you guys who's had the best year thus far. We have a couple months left. But uh O Red beat hit the competition that he's faced and I think he pretty much won all his battles. It's like second to none. Now, Daylight did become more popular, and a lot of it wasn't due to his bars, which we all know he has bars, but a lot of his popularity came from him being Daylight. So I'm going to start with you, 250. Let's start from, um, back around the round table. Who's had a better year between O-Red and Daylight? I think Daylight, personally. Okay. I think Daylight, just because Daylight has gotten... Daylight has gotten more shine this year overall. Daylight Daylight keeps his he, Daylight is all people fucking talk about. Yeah, he stays relevant. But yeah. my thing is not always for the right reasons too though. You gotta admit that, right? True, true, but I mean But look at O Red. O Red is he he beat, he beat Rex. He beat Big T. Um who was the uh I mean I think Red has the better resume. Who who else did he, he, he beat uh, Calico, uh, who are Calico, uh, Rex, uh, T. It was somebody else, too. X Factor this year? Yeah, X Factor. X Factor. I don't know if it was this year, though. Was that this year? Either way, just look at those last four battles, though. Like, I mean, in terms of where these battle rappers rank in the hierarchy of battle rap, even though we hate giving out tiers, it is what it is. These guys were all considered top tier, and he beat all of them. You know what right. I'm saying? Uh, but, Big Cannon. But so at Kyrie. the same time, I mean... I mean, daylight is still daylight is still the more relevant, the more talked about. So oh, if you just want to go by who beat the better people, if you just want to go by who beat the better people, then, yeah, it, then that's, you're that's gonna that's go the you're thing. gonna go that's over red. Thing. Yeah, I mean, we don't we don't want it to be we don't want to gauge someone the success of someone's year based on things like based on things that that have no real relevance in gauging your skill, your competition. Dude, I, I, and I'm and it's no not the daylight, because I do actually acknowledge his talent now. Before I just thought he was a noodle. Um, but he, he's you know he's a talented MC, but it's almost like it's a distraction because the things he does is either A for the entertainment or B for the less intelligent or less intellectual fan of battle rap that are just riding away and he can capture them with his antics. You know what I'm saying? But when we look at true bars and, and, and work put in, you, you probably have to edge that to O Red. Now Daylight is putting a lot of work in, you know, but the quality of wins, if we're looking at this truly as a sport and truly as competition, the quality of wins goes to O Red. All right. Now Marlon, to answer your question, I guess that would be that would depend upon, you know, what you what you prioritize. So what I'm saying is would you rather have Daylight Share or O-Red Share? O-Red where you can literally say, okay, I faced the best competition and I won. Or Daylight where you may, he didn't face the top competition, but he is probably the most relevant guy now. Because like you said, no matter what like, you know, group I go to, whether it's Facebook or there's Google+, Plus, if I'm on Twitter, people are always talking about the guy. And there's something to be said for that. He made himself relevant. So would you rather have O-Red Share or would you rather have Daylight Share? Me personally, I Daylight. Okay, you want the attention. Seriously. Got you. I just, all right, all right. That's just me. I mean, so so okay, you're looking you. for the Kyrie. shine. So you're, oh, hold, you're hold, 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 Austin, 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 hold on one second. Let everybody else go. No, all it's right, not right. even about that. It's not even about that. All right, here we go, y'all two. I mean. Hold on, though. Let's go around the table. Go ahead, Let's go around. Go ahead, hold on, Marlon. Um, Kyrie, Kyrie, what's your opinion? Who would, who's your year would you rather have? Well, I, I mean, hmm, it's, it's actually a hard one to answer, though. Uh, hmm. bar right, for well, bar. Daylight, talk. daylight probably had a better year, bar for bar. If you were going to judge it on bars, then yeah, daylight would. But as you always say, you can only battle who they put in front of you. So you can't. I mean, you can't knock who he's battled just because O Red had better competition. Okay, I agree with that. But who's the uh, year? I probably, I probably say daylight. Wow. Okay, we got two daylights. Hutch, what's uh, your opinion? Who's year? Who's having a better year? Who's year would you have rather had? If you're going strictly off 
See this? Yeah, it is different. Because... <laughs> <laughs> what right, is this Austin. nigga doing? <laughs> <laughs> if you go in uh, the, the battles themselves, <laughs> you would say O oh, Red. Um, I would say O oh, Red rather. Well, hold on. Can um, I can I can I say one thing though? Go ahead. O Red really has. He's had great battles this year, maybe, but. How many of them actually have replay value? Exactly. You you can say that you can say that, but how many battles this yeah. entire year has had replay value? That's what I'm here. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. Okay, this true, been... but most of the ones that no. are are daylight's battles. So no. I don't even know about that. Even if, even if they have no, replay no, value no, for no. the wrong reasons, they now have what we're doing, for the wrong reasons. Now what we're doing is we're supplanting quality of battle. For the antics that surround the battle. That's what I'm talking about. But there's no art. But what Kyrie said was Lada 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 in daylight. Lada Zay in daylight is better than any old red battle that came out. I agree Hands with that. Down. I, no, I totally And there's no that. antics involved there. No antics I, whatsoever. I agree with All that. All right, but we talk about I, 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 I disagree with that. Whole, there's though. no antics from daylight in that battle because Lada Zay with the two mash, that was antics. All right, but go ahead, Hutch. Go ahead, Hutch. Hutch, give your point, Hutch. We If we talk about. The year, though, I agree with you that that is probably the best battle of the year. But we, when you talk about the year and you talk about the battles as a whole, you have to put those antics. Well, I'll say me. I put those antics into the equation. Like that takes away from every the picture Austin put up. That butt naked bullshit. That put that puts that is a negative. Like that's rubbing your balls in people's face. That's a negative. Like so, the battles themselves to me is all red. If you want to say. Bars themselves, you could say daylight. But if we talking about battles themselves, like to me, like O Red has shown and proved every time he's battled. Amen, now, and that is Hutch Vision. <laughs> That's clearly and, Hutch Vision. And no, wait, I got, I got a question. I got a question. Hold on, a... damn, Marlon, let, let that be Austin go, man. We gonna we gonna come back to you. We gonna come back to you. Cause I, I see you got some uh, some more bars you want to say. Uh, yo, yo, Who's year would you have rather had? Because at the end of the day, right? Daylight is the most popular, probably the most popular battle rapper right I, now. I'm, O-Red I'm has had a fantastic I'm year. I'm everything that I'm saying pertaining to Daylight with the young man has talent and skill. He has a ton of entertainment value. But when you get to a point where shock value, he is in his career because of his personality, he's always going to have to be careful to not just be looked at as a coon and a shucker and a jiver Dang. for the sake of the sensationalism. Because dude's willing to do anything for the attention and to keep his, his name in people's mouth. You know what I'm saying? And I dig that. I understand it. But along the lines of what Hutch was saying, it could be perceived that he goes a little too far and focuses a little too much on the sensational gimmicks to draw the attention out. Now, the good thing with him is he has talent and he has skill and he gives you bars. But a lot of those things could be perceived as negative. He's an artist, so he has a right to throw that shit out there if he wants to. But, yo, if we just talking quality of, of battles and, and attention to craft and attention to getting on that stage and putting it down, yo, I got to give it to I got to give it to O'Reilly. Like I, I do. And, and I can objectively say that Daylight is nice and he's having a hell of a year. He's working. But the antics, that shit sometimes for me, I say 60 percent of the time it's a negative. Forty percent of the time it's entertaining. Now, I agree. Daylight probably also is the most entertaining battle rapper, but I don't know if that's a good thing because every time he watches battles or talk about an upcoming battle, we always talk about what you think he's going to do now. What'd you, yeah, and, we're not talking about his bars. Yeah, we're, not even talk, we're, not even, we're not even talking about the fact because the dude is, is very talented. Like That last battle I watched with him, uh, he left the earth, yo. Even though in the middle of the battle, he like walked out of the building. like uh, you know. <laughs> but anyway. He was um, rapping in you window. Okay. I, I get it. I get we what he get, was doing, all right, but yeah. That's an antic, though. But what I'm saying is this: sometimes it can't overshadow his talent because he has tremendous talent. But um, I think that at the top of the next year, right, so 2014, who put himself in a better place based upon this last year's performance? It probably is O'Red because if you look at Daylight, he's like banned from the URL at this point, right? Yeah, so far, yeah. So, yeah, so my thing is like even with even with all the antics, like now the biggest league, he can't even like participate there. Not that the URL is the be all end all, but at the end of the day. I know you can tell from his videos and everything he said, he really wanted to be on that stage. You know what I'm saying? So now he doesn't have the opportunity to be on that platform. 
because of his antics. Now, With so the crap they're putting out, they better hope they have a platform in 2014. You gotta be kidding me! They ain't going nowhere in no time soon. You know that because even with this battle, the way y'all talked about it, it's going to do more numbers than any other battle league. Like it is what it is, man. They they that's they. That's the have, sad part. They, that's they called have, Richard Wright. No, that's sir. called that's, that's called, called Richard Wright. That's Ryan. called that's called brand building. They've built their brand to a point that they can do that. It's the that's same sad. way. They built the same their way. brand to the point where people is Richard Wright. I mean, you can say that all you you can say that all you want to, right? But there are artists, there are artists that haven't made a great album in ten years, but they can drop an album now. But based upon the brand they built, it will sell. And here's something else you want to think about too. Jay Z, yeah, we, you know, it is what it is. Magna Carta, (laughs) Magna Carta, Magna Carta was mad light, but yo, hold up, hold up though. Here's my thing: when it comes to Magna Garbage, Holy Fail. When it comes to regular, (laughs) when it comes to regular hip hop, right? If we had an MC who had a, who had talent, but went out of their way to like draw attention and, and and do these kind of antics, y'all will be calling him whack. But now you put it in the context of battle rap, and it's okay. Yeah. If we take it, if we take if we take it out of battle rap and put it right. on an MC who's very popular, who has a little talent, but they draw to get attention, y'all will be killing yeah, him. He's drawn just a bunch. Pop the molly, point, I'm just sweating. Just a bunch of that point though, Jimmy. So you saying Jimmy. if a, if what a nigga got bars, saying, we're going to love hip hop? What you're saying essentially is kind of <laughs> you're knocking you're knocking, also speak. you're knocking the URL for being a little bit drawn in a sense, and a you're celebrating bit. daylight for being drawn. That that also, but what I'm saying is, when you take this outside of battle rap, I know we talk hip hop all the time, even more than battle rap. If you have an artist that's like drawing attention and doing all kinds of craziness, you know, um, to keep <laughs> yourself <laughs> relevant. <laughs> to keep themselves relevant, <laughs> the God they, MC. But they had bars. Y'all will be killing it. Y'all will be killing it. But you put it in the context of battle rap. And Marlon said he would rather be in Daylight's position. You know what I'm saying? So that that's my thing. Now go ahead, Marlon. You said you had some more to say. Go ahead, good brother. Oh man. At the end of the day, you. <laughs> no chill. <laughs> at the end of the day, like I look at it like this. If I look over Daylight's year, if I look over just Daylight's battles, his bars for the year, and I look over O-Red, and let's say, okay, who do you feel will win if Daylight battled O-Red? That's a whole different question. I wasn't even asking that. No, no, but I'm I'm saying that's that's my question. That's my question. I don't even know about that though, cause like I haven't seen O Red lose in a while, so I don't know, man. Nah, I, I do think. Oh, I, mean, I don't think O Red. Like, I don't think O Red was really all that impressive in this battle. I, I think he played down to his competition. I think Daylight is the more talented battler, actually. So I don't even know about. I don't even know about that. I don't that, think, I don't I don't think that, that question is relevant within the context of the first question. It's not. It's not. But I don't even. I can't even say that. I can't even say that he would beat O Red. Like. Yo, y'all sleeping on O-Red. O-Red has it's talent, it's man. Not, no, O-Red. it's not that I'm sleeping. Why, why is it that if you say somebody might lose a battle, you sleeping on them? That's like saying it's nobody can that, lose. You know, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if I take everything you said, right, an amalgamation of everything you said during this here uh, you know, webcast in terms of that battle being born, that him not being said impressive. amalgamation. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I know you ain't talking. <laughs> Educated brother from the bank. But all I'm saying is this. Um, <laughs> Hate your prison. I, I put together everything you said, yo. You're sliding him a little bit. Oh, Red has talent, right? No, I and, agree. And I agree. The, no, but to say that Daylight would just beat him, like, seriously? All I said was Daylight would win the battle. I mean, so what? Okay, I mean, no, no, no. Would you opinion. feel better if I that's said, okay, Oh, Red would win the battle? Not at all. Not at all. That's exactly. So it's like I can't say anybody will win no, the battle. Man, that's way. Not what I, no, hear oh, me shame. out, man. Hear oh, me shame. out, man. Hear me out, man. Hear me out. I'm saying the way you – first of all, that, that, question is, that question is irrelevant in terms of who had the better year. Would he beat him? Like who cares who would win? That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about what happened from this year, how they positioned themselves to go into 2014, right? Who's had the better year? You're talking about who went between the two. It doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's as simple as saying they like watch him. He's a better battle rapper, and that, and I'm not even pointing that at you because Austin said the same thing as well. I don't even know about that. Like, O'Red hasn't lost in a while. How are we looking at this as the battler or from the fan perspective? 
Well, I mean, that's two different things. If you're looking at it from an entertainment at, standpoint. If I'm looking at it from the battler, maybe I would want to be O'Red. But from a fan perspective, I would say Daylight had a better year. Okay. I mean, no. The, the fact of the matter is, it's arguable, which is why we're having this debate. I mean, because if I could just not, go by... It's not a clear-cut answer. How many times I've rewatched battles, it's... I've rewatched Daylight's way more. Yo, I haven't rewatched too many battles this year, period, yo. I'm just um, saying. Wow. No, but, yeah, me neither. But all I'm... Yeah, so Hutch is with me. Like, I ain't rewatched uh, a lot of stuff. I, I he, he, he don't I, watch I battles more than once anyway. Skips. I agree with Skip's, you know, analysis. I do think, from the fan perspective, uh, if we poll the average fan, the average... The current average fan, the 2013 fourth quarter battle rap fan where things stand, they will say daylight because the, the the culture has exploded over the course of the last 24 to 36 months and there's a new, what I would call less intellectual fan who that is caught up in the antics that daylight brings to the table. So uh, Say what you really mean. You try to say it in a nice way, man. You know? Nah, I'm just crying. Right. There is, over the last 24 to 36 months, there is a less intellectual. There's, there's a bunch of well, you're sheep. Saying, you're, saying, you're saying daylight appeals to stupid niggas. No, I'm, well, I'm, I'm saying that daylight. I would have I'm to disagree that, with that because some actually, of the stuff he said. Actually, no, 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 no. That's not. I, I think that daylight but Kyrie, has the separate ability. Separate that from the antics, though. Day, day, daylight has the ability to give to almost everybody because his, his bars and his lyrics. Do appeal to the purist and the dude that, that that's gonna break down lyrics and listen to that shit that makes you go. Eh, he just said that. Shit. I mean, the shit he did in Shoddy Horror Battle was better than anything Old Red said this year. Yeah. Right, but here's the thing, though. Yeah. In, in, but that's terms... also a style too. Like the way he said that shit, you gotta rewind that. The way not, you gotta. Not, not even just the yeah. style, the way just what he said. Like the end, but the even antics. still, all this equals up. All this equals up to. Daylight had the better year. I don't even, but I can't say that. Here's why I can't say I'm that. I'm just right? saying that in my well, opinion. No, and, 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 and like I said, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, man. They're like assholes. Everybody got one and they all stink. But here's the thing. Um, when you look at this year, right, and you talk, you talk about 2014, who's put themselves in a position to get a next top tier battle? Daylight may still be, you know, battling, I don't even know. I can't name all the, some of the dudes he battled this year, the only reason I saw them is because they did battle Daylight. Mm-hmm. Oh, Red but that's the point. Where... That's the point. People battle daylight, and okay, so and so ba- daylight's battling somebody. You watch it. Oh, Red battling a nobody. It's like, well, Oh, Red's gonna kill him. I mean, if you a battle, Red, if you a listen, purist, listen, hold if you one of the people Red. like us, you gonna watch it just because that's what we do. But you, you that's just made job. my point. Oh, Red put himself in a position where he doesn't have to battle nobody's. That's my point. I mean, Old Red has put himself in a position Red where he Jay doesn't have to bet on <laughs> Austin, chill with the pitches. Big up. You said if opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one and they all stink. And I would like to submit that hers doesn't necessarily stink. All, all, um, all, all, all but, I'm saying is this. But I do. I, I don't. I, it's like when, you, when you're qualifying what a better year was and you use the fact that it's draw, it's draw. That makes the year better. Then draw is based on what? Is it draw because you're coming to see this dude wear a diaper? Is it draw because you sick trying to see whether that dude pierced his 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 cheek, or is it draw because you're trying to see him put his balls on somebody's eyelids, or is it draw because you kind of, kind of trying to come see him spit these balls? Lines on top of lines. And also, that lines. Lines. And also, exactly. also, also. Also, we're talking about relevance versus, like, you know, just who's had the better year and the better, the better battles. Like, relevance, like, relevance, relevance, relevance versus they both better. Be just, Calico, that's a great so, point. I mean, that's a great point. Daylight is definitely more relevant. They both be that, that, also, but that, now, Exactly. Like you were saying, Austin, uh, a lot of that is because of his antics, because people are putting his antics out. Like, his just the choke part made it the world star. Just him getting naked on stage made it the world star. So right. now the people who don't really watch battle rap, they're like, "Oh, this daylight. That's the dude. This, that got naked. What are you gonna and, do and, this and, time?" And this is what this is what battle rap is about. Oh, he's gonna do. Yo, that's not really what the culture is about. No, oh, and I understand that. I understand where you're coming from as far as that is concerned. And I don't agree with the antics. I've spoken on the antics. 
I don't like the antics. When when he gets too involved with the antics, then I feel as though that's his downfall. However, you cannot ignore the fact that Daylight has bars. True. But I don't think anybody... <laughs> you you, 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 not, you not can't ignore, ignore that. Bars. Nobody's ignoring that, yo. No <laughs> one's ignoring that. Hold up, though. Hold up, though, because here, here, here's something... Now right? you're going to clown the way I said it. No, hey, people, anybody so, from my canton hook. The peep is though, right? We we are talking about Fire daylight in a video which was about O Red and Big T. So that right there shows you his relevance. It also shows you that know, we appreciate his talent. I was just asking that question because it's a debate I've been having um you know over the last twenty four hours, not even twenty four hours, since this battle dropped. I was like, damn, O Red beat Big T. If I was just to look at wins and losses on paper and I look at the names that Big T has beat over this last year, that's very impressive. And if I look at the names that Daylight has battled this past year, like you know, if you just said, looking you at said the names. Big T. You mean the names that O Red has battled? I'm sorry, I apologize. Yeah, uh, O Red. He just yeah, beat Big T. But I'm saying, I just yeah. sit back in my Aki right, like Aki right. I'm just saying. <laughs> but if you look, if you look at just names, right? That's what I'm saying. If you look at just names this past year that O Red has uh, beat and whose Daylight has beat, it's not even close. But again, you bring in the whole relevance factor and all these other things, and it changes things. Go ahead, Marlon. That's always going to This year, this year if, you look at, if you look at this year, this year alone has shown that names don't mean shit. Because a lot of the names have given out poor, extremely poor performances. Bars okay. over names. So okay. as far as, okay, already Bars beat more names. Now, hey, now, oh, now, okay, now. Red beat more names, but what do the names really mean? Yeah, man, it, it ain't how many times you you know been in the ring. It's who you fought. And my thing okay. is this though. Oh, so, now, so now, what's worse, a, a mediocre performance from an elite battle rapper or just a whack battle rapper? What's worse? Because here's my thing. Here's my thing, Marlon. Right? You're saying that they've given out piss poor performances, but you're talking about how relevant Daylight is. They're still more relevant. Yo, a lot of these top tier battles it's put out piss poor performances. And they're gonna do quadruple the amount of views that a lot of dope battles have. That last PG battle they put out was dope. Ain't nobody exactly. Gonna watch it. Nobody gonna watch it though. So now we talking about that's the fucked up thing. That's the fucked up thing. That has to deal with relevance, right? So now you're arguing the other side. You're saying that like yeah, relevance. They like your argument is he's more. You're relevant. saying you're contradicting yourself. You're no, what I'm saying is does relevance matter? Does relevance matter or does it not matter? That's what I'm saying because. You're talking about the top tier battle rappers, but they're still more relevant, which is why they still get the views. So does relevance matter or does it not matter? Relevance would only matter to me if I was promoting an event. What I'm saying is this. Take a stick up and has never had a sweet round. It's a candy, nigga. It's a sucker. All got right. A sweet it's, round. Take it. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, cut it out, man. Seriously, though. Answer the question, though, Marlon. Like, does relevance matter? I mean, what are we talking about? Relevance factors in. Relevance definitely factors in. You can't say that relevance is not a factor. But relevance is also not the end all be all of the discussion. Okay. Respect. Okay, I'm just saying, like, when you look at who O Red's battled, I think he's put himself in a nice position. Because going into the next year, he's not gonna have to battle these dudes like you, no. like you said. One more thing about this argument. If you go to Google and you type in Daylight's name and you look at images, yo, it's literally two thousand images that come up. You type in O Red I mean, as a heterosexual Three. male, I would not look at Daylight's images. I feel you know, But that just goes to the whole... Touche, my thing. nigga. Like said, touche. The fact, <laughs> yo, the fact that we're talking about this, the fact that we're talking about this, right, um, shows that he is relevant. It's, like I said, he's probably the most relevant. But I don't know going into 2014 whether he did himself a, a disservice by all the antics at all. Well, after I, when I, he... I got one more, I got one more last thing to he say. He said he retired Battle rap is a sport, correct? You gentlemen all consider it a sport. Yes. Word. Okay. Chad Johnson, six years ago, was doing all types of dumb shit for attention. Very good wide receiver. Had was extreme he talent. Best, was he the best wide receiver because he was the most relevant? Not at all. Okay. Andre Jordan Johnson Nelson. was in the league at that time. Larry Fitzgerald was in the league at that time. Jordy Nelson. Uh, no, Jordy Nelson. He said Jordy Nelson. No, really Jordy was in college. Really don't. Slide some Packers in there, you bitch. So, <laughs> it's kind of like Donald Driver was in the league though. So if, if we look Shout at, out, if, go pick up Driven. 
if we Tyler look Jarvis at, is car thief. Go ahead, though. If we look at if we look at at, at, at the receivers that trip. were that were doing their thing at that time five to Isn't six years ironic? ago, when Chad Johnson was probably the most relevant. Mm-hmm. That that doesn't mean he was the best or he had the best year. It just means he was the most relevant. So draw yeah, wise, you come in to see what Chad Johnson is going to do on his touchdown celebration. Meanwhile, Andre Johnson is killing the league. Larry Fitzgerald is killing the league. But these dudes are working at their craft and giving you the, the best technical, you know, display of wide receiverism. That's what it does. Yo, 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 did he just say wide receiverism? Wide but receiverism. Also, to, your, to your point, we can end this debate, but to your point, right, if we look at hip-hop, there are some people who are relevant, just are not that nice, but they're relevant. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. Pop the molly, I'm sweating. He, he's not relevant anymore. Yeah, he's definitely his his 15 minutes is gone, man. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Go get ten feet small. No, don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. We'll see if he can, you know, get his relevance back. But anyway, with that being said, people out there watching, let us know what you're thinking. For another thing, man, shout out to my man Hanif at Neefbuck45. I know he's watching and um he was supposed to be on with us, but uh couldn't get on. But shout out to him too. And like I Yo, said before, Bonnie, this is, even though you slapped in your last battle, I just, you know, wanted to shout you out. Yo, this is, we give shout outs all throughout this yard, man. Shout but out anyways. to Jack Frost, Beer Gang. Tr- beer Gang. Yo, Jack, holla at us. We need a sponsor. Beer Gang. You trying to help me? <laughs> Yo. Yo you see the young brother. BSB. By the way, shout out to our sponsors. We, shout out to our sponsors we already got. Go to warroomsports.com and look at all of our sponsor lists because we got War some sponsors now. TV. WorldSportsTV.com. But anyway, for those watching, let us know what you think. Over at Big T, who won that battle? Um, in our big debate, which took up most of the time on the show, who has had the better year, Daylight or O-Red? Would you rather have the killer resume or would you rather have the relevance? Because in the grand scheme of things, the relevance, right? If we're talking about being an entertainer, it may work out well for you, but Kyrie said that he's retired. He says he's retired. I heard him say that as well, but because I don't know whether he put himself in a better position Going into 2014. But do you believe anything Daylight says? That's no. true as well. But, you know, just from an entertainment standpoint, he may put himself in a position oh, to do Oh, speaking of Neef. <laughs> yeah, Neef just tried to pop in. Neef, it's not going to work, pause. homie. Yeah, pause. <laughs> Yo, anyway, back to what I was saying. Who who do you think has had the best year? Is it O-Red? Is it Big T? Um, Maybe sure. you have an, maybe you have it? somebody else. Oh, maybe there he goes. goes. Is it is it Matt <laughs> Hoffa? <laughs> is it Arthur? No, Neef showed up. Neef, we done now, doggy. It was We done now, doggy. But anyway, you said Sharon. Anyway, I'm not going to acknowledge that. Does anybody else think somebody's had a better year? I mean, if you base him, it's 106 in part, right? Uno Lavos. Stop. Now, uh, now, you're, just, now you're just trying to be funny. Oh, shout out to Organic and I Battle Worldwide. I paid for those and those great events. Shout please out to him. Salute. Yo, organic. Please, people, don't support the culture, we the media, please. Dog. We the media, man. Support we the, the media. culture. We pushing the culture. We purveyors of hip-hop. Yo, y'all drawing right now, man. Y'all, y'all dudes, man, are, are hilarious. And I can only imagine some of the stuff y'all getting ready to say once we go off air. You know, that's when they really let the true feelings be told. <laughs> right. with, that, with that being said, man, listen. Don't forget, Rosenberg Raw? No, no. Don't forget to hit the like button. Share the video. Let us know how you feel about the topics we discussed, um, you know, this evening. Because I really want to know what people think about this old red and daylight debate. Neef just showed up just to, like, show his face because we can't hear him or nothing. But anyway. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Jazz, man. Or... This dude go? He just keeps shouting out all these female battle rappers, man. Yo, we got 250 in the house, man. We got it. Yo, he's a <laughs> Mr. Queen of the Ring himself. Mr. Yo, Queen shout out. Yo. Ring. Shout out to Mr. 250, yo. Mr. 250 got his YouTube page where he reviews like battles and um. And shout out to John Rhymes too. He gives he gives his he gives. Yeah, his shout out to John Rhymes. Oh, gotta, gotta shout him. him. Shout yeah, to John, shout yo. Him. But also, 250 has his um his channel where he gives his biased opinion um on battle <laughs> rap and mostly mostly female battle rap. A lot, a lot of female he's battle rap and a lot of Invicta watches. Yo, I yo yo. About I, I review what what <laughs> drops, man. <laughs> Yo, he said your channel is sponsored by Tampax, bitch. <laughs> Yo, word? Okay. Yo, okay. Shout- I didn't say that, man. Yo, Yo shout out to that. the Susan G. Coleman Foundation. Yo, 250, <laughs> 250 is for y'all, man. The battle rap community. Yo, 
I, I support the ladies, Susan man. G. Coleman, she she's trying to fight breast cancer. Yo, Save the boobies. Fight, yo, she fighting lucky titties, yo. We're Save the boobies. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting y'all dudes off, man. <laughs> Everybody the out there, man. Right? Yo! It's I'm the Drake of... Did you say I'm the Drake of Battle? <laughs> Yo! You the Drake of Battle that. Rap Media. Yo, you can't, you can't call me Aubrey, dog. No. That's, <laughs> that's going too far. That's Just hold on. Through. We're logging off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! All right, man. We done, man. Share this video. Like I said, give us your opinion. Who won the battle? Who's had the best year? If you got another uh, candidate for uh, best battle of the year, let us know. Um, it is what it is, man. As we always say, don't accept mediocrity. Be steadfast in the war against ignorance. This is Operation Battle Rap, and we'll see you chumps on top. The wait is the war room with five nights at the round table, five Philly guys diversified and educated.